Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. I'm on here and I'm going to show you guys um, kind of where I'm at with setting up Noteful and how I'm moving everything over. Um, so first up, I imported a brand new um, planner. So if you've downloaded a planner, I imported a brand new planner. And um, from here, I just kind of copied and pasted over. I may have already shown this in some videos, but I wanted to kind of show you um, how I copied over some stuff. So so some of these things I copied over smaller sections. You can kind of see some things are grouped together. Um, like this is all grouped together. So I can't change any of that, which is fine because I'm not going to change anything on previous months. So if I copied the whole page over, you can totally lasso the whole page in GoodNotes, hit copy, or just drag it over and it'll just be one sticker inside of Noteful. You can definitely do that. I found that some of it was a little bit blurry when I did that. So I kind of did it in smaller chunks, but like I did this whole bottom all together. So I can't change any of this, but like I said, it's fine because, um, I don't go back and change anything from previous months anyways. So here you can see I did this whole section. I did that whole section. I kind of did almost lines at a time. I did that whole section. So I just copied and pasted over as I could. And then this bottom section I did all together. So that was pretty easy to do my months. Let me go back to my weeks here and show you how I did those. Um, these I pretty much imported the background and the week and then I just copied and pasted everything. See how that's all together? I copied and pasted everything that was on each tab to kind of get me caught up on all of my weeks here. So that's how I handled that. Next up, so that's how I handled that. Next up, let's talk about on the trackers. I'm still, this is kind of lower on my priority list. So I haven't gone back in and done all of the colors yet, but I made new blocks using these shapes here and I just hit square and then I just made it the size that I needed to, um, to fill in these shapes exactly right and then I just changed the style and um, I did a color picker to pick my colors that I had before and then from there all I did was duplicate it and then if I had several in a row I could copy these and paste these and so that's kind of how I'm doing my shapes really easy and then I did cover up um, what was on here before and I'm adding in titles for, for each one of my trackers. So like this is a growth tracker um, and then this is my yearly tracker. I may change this to like mood tracker, um, but I am covering those up and fixing those as I do um, as well. For my dashboard, I did pretty much recreate my whole dashboard. I just copied over exactly what I did on my other one, but I made the new shapes inside of Noteful because I feel like if I was going to change a page, I probably would definitely change this page eventually. And so I didn't want everything to be um, messed up. So I did new links. I did everything new within Noteful. Um, okay, so let's talk about stickers. So stickers, I'm still slowly doing um, with um, transferring them over. It takes a while. I did want to do my numbers first. I started doing January 1st and then I realized my numbers and my um, day names is what I want to use first because those are the things that you copy over multiples of. So that's harder to copy over from um, good notes whenever you're doing several at one time. So I started with numbers and I got my clock numbers in here. And then I've got these three sets of numbers. Everything is going kind of slow. I haven't had a lot of time to work on it. So I have just been using my stickers from good notes for the most part. I know several of you, um, this is the way that you do it. So let me give you this option. If you go to good notes, I'm going to turn this sideways. If you go to GoodNotes and say you have a set that you want to transfer over, say this fashion set is one that you want to do, um, a lot of people are taking screenshots by hitting your volume up and your power button and then just bringing this over and cropping exactly what it's supposed to look like in GoodNotes. And then over here, you figure out where you want to put it. So um, I'll probably put clothes on my last one over here. And then what they're doing is they're adding the photo um, that you just took and you're gonna make it fill this area. And then you just click style and then you change the opacity. Now, this is one thing that I've noticed with Noteful not working very good is sometimes whenever this style bar comes up, it doesn't show you your full option here. So um, if you move this to a smaller screen or if you flip the iPad portrait, it will. Um, so you just move this down small and then I like grabbing them from the actual PNG file, but you can definitely just go to photos and then drag and drop onto here. That works. Um, what I like to do is go to the original file. Okay, so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to move to my locked layer. I haven't added a locked layer to this one yet. So 
I'm going to click over here. I haven't added a locked layer to this one, so I'm gonna put locked. Okay, and then I'm gonna rename this one, edit. Okay, so now this moved to my locked layer and I'm going to, the blue box indicates which layer you're on. I'm gonna to move to edit and then zoom this in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit these three dots up here and I'm gonna hit select and then select all. Okay, and then I'm gonna drag these over right here. And you can see it put them all on the screen here. So now it's just like putting a puzzle piece together. So now it's just like putting a puzzle piece together. So I'm actually gonna turn it this way. And you just put each piece on top of where it is on that background. And it doesn't have to be exact, but this is, it doesn't have to be exact, but this is just if you're wanting it to look um, very much you want to make sure you've got this little lock button turned on to make sure that locked doesn't move on you. Okay, so now all you have to do is pretty much just paste um, everything where it is on this bottom layer. To me, this can get kind of congestive um, if this is the way you want to do it. It's easier, you know, than dragging, I guess, each and every one over. Um, but you have to kind of be able to see where everything's at. And sometimes this stuff gets in the way. Um, so you look for my style, kind of get this stuff out of the way. So it's basically like putting a puzzle together. And um, I mean, if you like to listen to podcasts or watch shows or something while you do it, um, that could be good. You, it wouldn't be that hard to kind of do this as you do that because it's literally like putting a puzzle together and you don't really have to think because you can see the pieces under, um, under there where everything needs to go. So then you just do this and then put your puzzle pieces together and then you'll have all of your new stickers right where they need to be. Now, let me show you another way that you can do it, depending on if you're wanting to put the sticker sets together, depending on if you want it to look, you know, exactly how I've originally put the sticker sets together. Um, that's just all up to you on what you want it to look like. But I'm going to show you another way, and it's the way that I am doing it. Okay, so there's that way of doing it, or let me show you one other way of doing it. So I'll have to go back and fix that set later. But what I have been doing is opening up my, all of my files are underneath stickers in my um, iCloud. And so I've got the zip files and the open files next to them. So it looks kind of chaotic, but um, I should have one of every one, one open and one that's zipped. Um, so what I did is, okay, I changed this. Since I have all of my stickers in this one file, I changed this to name so everything's in order. And then like I went to January and then I just started with 2025. So I clicked on my 2025 stickers and I carried over all of my favorite stickers. These are subscription stickers and um, stickers that came in the 2025 kit. So anything 2025 related January is going on this page. And then um, I am doing one of two things. I am trying to keep them together for the most part so I can tell you guys which pack they came from. Um, but I don't love just every sticker in every set. So like if this is all that I loved from 2024, I may push these up to half a page and then put 2023 below that. So I am trying to keep the sets together. But once I go through 2025, then I'm just hitting on January 2024. I'm clicking on the stickers and then I'm waiting for them to load here. And I am just carrying over all of my favorite ones out of this set. And I let's see, I like this firewood, so I'm going to bring it over. So I'll put it down here. And whenever I'm doing a lot of these, I like to have words kind of mixed in between. So this is just a fun way to play too, right? It's almost like putting a puzzle together. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is it's really fun to kind of organize your stickers too. So like I put all of my favorite stickers um, out of the pack, you know, bigger, and then it's just like putting a puzzle piece together. So I just run through here, this Happy New Year. If I see anything like this, I may go ahead and go to stickers. And then um, I think I have one that says New Year. Yeah, New Year's. So I think I'm just going to add this one. I won't think about that in the January kit, really. So I'm going to go ahead and put that underneath my New Year. So if I see anything that definitely has a different category completely, I may go and do that. Like these Oreos are really cute. I probably won't think of them in January, so I probably won't add them in January um, unless I'm wanting to keep my... Uh, packs together, but I'll go to food and I'm just going to go ahead and add those in here as I go. So I'm kind of organizing my stickers as I go. So now let's go back to January and let's see here. 
I've added that. Um, I don't think I want to add those. I got these cute little guys down there. I love that. Love that. Yeah, I think that's all that I want to add out of this kit. Those are my favorites from this January. Okay, um, make sure there's nothing else that you want to add. I'm only doing stickers right now. I'm not going to do the sidekicks and all of that. So now I'm done with 25 and 24. So now I'm going to go to 23 and I'm going to click on stickers and let all of those load. And then what I may do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 on here but I think I'm gonna squeeze these onto just one page. So I'm gonna move him over here. You don't wanna get like more than, you know, 20, 30 stickers on a page because then it just starts slowing down on you and getting more boggy. At least it did in good note. So far I haven't had to wait for much of anything on Noteful. It's been very refreshing. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of move these around how I like them. Comfy, cozy get cozy and then let's move this bed up I'm gonna move this a little bit further up maybe make this a little bit smaller maybe put winter wonderland down here move my get cozy kind of in this area just kind of move them around until the shapes fit this one's kind of an odd one though it's kind of tilted a weird direction so maybe we'll just do that one here so then I know that's that January kit. And then now I can go through and just add in my favorites from this January. So that way it's kind of keeping them in um, order. And then I can even put the numbers on here if I want to. I'm going to crop this one down. I see it's kind of big as I'm doing it. I know that this is going to take some time to do, but I feel like if I do this right now, it's going to save me time, um, a lot of time in the future. So some of these have not been cropped down. Okay, um, let's see. This one says like 2023 goals. I'm probably not going to use that again. Um, so let's see here. Just I like to go through and add in my absolute favorites first and then figure out whatever else I want to add. So this is definitely one of my favorites. And like these florals, I wouldn't really use florals that much in January. So I would go back and um, find like my flower ones. So I would go back to floral and I would add these actually under floral instead of January to January and finish filling up the page. So that's kind of how I'm doing it. Um, let me show you my sticker book in GoodNotes so you can kind of see how I have it organized. I changed just a few things up. I still have some blanks in my new Noteful sticker pack because there were some that just didn't, wasn't quite working for me. So I'm just gonna keep tweaking how I until I get it how I want it. Let me show you how I'm doing the widgets. I haven't added my pictures on here yet, but I have all the widgets filled in, um, all of my favorite widgets there. So I try to do these in order. Whatever ones are on the top on this page are going to be on the top on this page. Um, so that way, if I found one, I know exactly which page to get it on the next one. Um, so I've got all of the inserts up here. Down here, I'm using my favorite shape. So I'm adding in just some generic shapes that I love to use over and over. And then I'm putting in each month here. So January, February, March, um, just of 2025. So I'm not going in and added in any previous years. Um, I will probably make like a separate, like another page behind January and add in maybe my favorite shapes from the years before um but i just don't i don't use these as much and so that's just the way that it's going to work for me and then over here i've got the individual category one so i've got i've got travel i've got memory keeping one so if i go back to widget i've got travel memory finance business project christmas loving this budget grocery and menu decor hobby party self-care and quotes so i've got all those there and then if i click on inserts i have these two different ways this is actually landscape and portrait so on landscape i use the color blocks so here i'm just using the color blocks and i love being able to use these in landscape i love using these in landscape because it doesn't try to make you push it into one way being portrait so you can tell that I can use these whichever way so that works out really well being in landscape so that's how I'm keeping my color blocks and then over here I've got my weekly inserts along with my bigger um, inserts for travel Christmas craft projects and that sort of thing so if I click on January you can see all of my January um, layout see how January's colors really differed from years before but I put them all together then you go into February, then you go into March, and then April. And so that's how I'm keeping up with all my weekly inserts, January through December. And then my backgrounds are here. I try to label on top what the backgrounds are. 
So spring, summer, fall, winter. I may divide these up a little bit more. I feel like these need to be divided up just a little bit more. So I haven't figured that out yet. And then if you go into travel, I've got some travel, some Christmas, and some other inserts as well. So that is a look at my sticker book and how I'm organizing. If I go back to Noteful here, I can show you what all of my um, ideas are. So I've got all the months, favorites, events, fonts, um, months, days, and numbers down here at the bottom. So those are just creating my base of my pages. That gives me a good base. Um, these are for font pairings and then events is like birthdays, you know, weddings, baby showers. These are just my favorite stickers. And then the next page, I've got travel, family, fun, work, tasks, girls' day, hobbies, photo frame labels, quotes, plants, words. So these are quotes, longer quotes, and then these are words that are coming in our sidekicks for this year. I have a blank one um, and then boho, outdoors, faith, spring, summer, fall, winter. So sometimes they are season specific. So I'm trying to make opportunities for those down here. Spring and summer always kind of lump together for me, the colors and stuff, but fall and winter are definitely separate. So I kept those separate. Banners, mini cal. These are our memory packs for this year. New Year's, July 4th, Thanksgiving. I may do one called Christmas. That's why I left a blank there um, and then I've got floral theme parks food animals letterboard holidays and logos and then this is all of my super super if I'm really wanting to like do a whole page out decorate this is all my super decor stickers and not productivity stickers so I've got uh, scenes for spring summer fall winter I've got Christmas a furniture um, bath living room kitchen my favorite like places I kept that separate because these are super generic and didn't have to be a certain season all of the girls and then scenes office and then I'm going to add in that um, wardrobe clothing down here so these are more of like my fun and productivity stickers and then that last page is more scene stuff so that's how I'm organizing everything and that's how you can move over things more than one thing from once from PNGs or you can go through it individually like I'm doing it once I get through all of my months I'll start going through my other stickers but I did want to start with my days and my numbers first because those you you know lasso Sunday through Saturday, and you can't lasso them over from GoodNotes. If you do it, it's going to put it all in one sticker, and you can't separate them. So there's a brief overview of how I'm switching things over. Um, for my pals and stuff, most of those are going to be pretty tedious because I want to copy and paste. Like, I'm going to highlight the text and paste the text over on here. It's going to be very, very um, tedious trying to get some of that stuff switched over because I want to be able to edit that stuff. That's ongoing stuff. So it will be pretty much individual copying and pasting over. So just put you on a good podcast or something while you do this and the time will go by. Um, I am just trying to put a goal of doing, um, you know, maybe all of January this week and then all of February next week. And then just trying to break it down in chunks. And I'm trying to move things over that I'm going to need first. So stickers is not high priority, even though it's the most fun to do. Um, I am trying to get all of my days and numbers and stuff over here. And then I'm going to start transferring over my folder pals and stuff next. Um, so I'll do another video on that. But this hopefully will get you started on some information on how I'm switching things over. So I can't wait to get my planner pals and stuff switched over. It's going to be amazing once I get there. But I'm still creating new products right now. So transferring everything is definitely going to be a slower pace for me. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for joining us here today. I will catch you on the next one. Um, until then, happy planning.